Good evening, everyone. We're learning new information about what St. Mary's police say was a domestic violence tragedy that believed to have taken the life of Karen Barnes and set the stage for a police-involved shooting that killed her ex-husband, David Trauger. This all began Monday when investigators found what they believe is the remains of Barnes and her friend Larry Ford on this burning boat in the St. Mary's River. Now we're being told this same boat was a bone of contention in their bitter divorce. Channel 4's Gumasi Aaron spoke with police and with the couple's former divorce attorney. She's joining us now from Brunswick. Gumasi. Well, the attorneys say their clients looked at this divorce case totally different. Karen Barnes, she felt like their marriage was broken. And in these documents, she said she was afraid of Mr. Trauger. Mr. Trauger, on the other hand, say they were living together like they were when they're married. And he said the only reason they got this divorce was so his previous wife wouldn't get access and custody of their boat. Now, we talked to people who knew both of them. They tell us things here just escalated into an unimaginable end. This is a picture of David Trauger and Karen Barnes in happier times. The two spent their days here at the Jekyll Island Marina living on this boat. But after Karen Barnes filed for divorce in April, the marina captain, Jesse Marrero, says Trauger became threatening. So when he became a primary suspect in this boat burning and then a double murder, Marrero only had one thought. That he did it finally. That uh, uh, he kept his promise because he'd already promised to kill her. Karen Barnes filed for divorce after about two and a half years of marriage, saying their marriage was irretrievably broken. But David Trauger told his attorney the divorce was all about this, his boat, the boat the couple lived on. Trauger's previous wife put a lien on it in February, and Trauger's lawyer says he told her Barnes came up with a way to keep the woman from getting it. Mr. Trauger said that she's the one that came up with the plan. Did he go along with it? Yes, he did. Uh, to get divorced, and in the divorce, she'd sign the boat over to him. But they would just continue living on happily ever after. That didn't happen. The divorce went through, and when Trauger tried to come see Barnes on the boat, the locks were changed. When the, they escorted him off the boat as he was leaving, he says, you know, I will, this is my boat, and uh, I will kill you guys. Trauger then tried to set aside the divorce, saying he and Barnes continued to act as husband and wife. But Barnes painted a different picture, saying she cut off communication and went into hiding with her friend Larry Ford. I was talking to Larry Saturday, and I asked Larry, you know, why don't you just stay out of this? He goes, I'm afraid I, that, you know, it's too late. I got to help her. Now, Barnes also filed this protective order against Trauger, saying that he was bipolar and that he hadn't been taking his medication. Also in this protective order, several instances that she gives of abuse, including a time where she says he choked her with a cord and broke her arm. Now, we talked to Trauger's attorney about that. She didn't know about any of this until this report came out. She was planning to ask him about it. They had a meeting set up for Monday afternoon, and, of course, he didn't show up. Reporting in St. Mary's, Kamasi Aaron, Channel 4, the local station.